And as I remember the story you telling me many years ago, this came about because, first of all, playing with your thumb rather than a pick was quieter. Yeah. Mr. Al Driver, how the heck are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Good, good. Um, Al, for those of our viewers um, who might not know who you are, uh, who is Al Driver representing today? Um, I'm Slaughterhouse Studios. We're right here, uh, specialized mainly in doing uh, melee weapons and oversized weapons, primarily Q-line acting, uh, parade, video, that kind of weapons. They're more sure. of a visual, you know, uh, Aid to, to, to stimulate. Enhance, yeah, enhance your character. Yeah, enhance your character, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we had talked earlier, um, IHI has been branching out, looking at all things kind of macabre and, and dark and other industries besides the haunted attraction industry. Um, one of those being uh, cosplay and the Comic Con. What is your feeling with crossover between like your product or the, like, the haunt world and the cosplay world in general? Right, I, I, I think it's uh, it's happening. You know, it's happening somewhat through customers, but it's also happening like an influence and stuff. Yeah. like. We, we draw a lot of our influence from comic books, from, from movies, from whatever. Um, like uh, our, our arm attachment here, this is one of our, one of our arm attachments. Uh, it's called a get, uh, Geddon Drill, but it's it's really heavily influenced by some like comic books and, and video game stuff like Bioshock sure. and some other, some other uh, you know, brands that are out there that, that, that done that. We also do things like our, our clown mallets. You know, this, this is like a clown mallet you know, in the horror industry, but it could be very easily turned into like a Harley Quinn, you know, just change his paint job and, you know, it's it could cross both genres. Right. You know, both genres. Now, uh, we were very fortunate to see um, some demonstrations from cosplayers and one interesting thing that I thought that was just pretty cool is uh, they mentioned that there's no shame in uh, commissioning a piece uh, to enhance your costume. Right, right. I can custom make you a one-off or not just me, yeah. whoever. Right. It, it can 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 make a, a one off like a chess piece with some kind of emblem in the middle or yeah. whatever. You know, I'm, I'm watching what I say here just right. to make sure. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of how that well, works. Well, and, and you know, cosplayers like to make things their own. They like to take right. a character that exists right. and kind of put a spin on it. Exactly. So, I, I mean, I think that your your props would be amazing additions to anybody's costume. Really. Right. We, and we keep that in mind. Like, um, we know the movie, like the uh, World of Warcraft craft movies coming out. And we, we do stuff like, like this piece, it could be like a, you know, it's, it looks like we call it an executioner's axe. Yeah. But this this could would look right, you know, perfectly in the hands of a orc or a barbarian yeah, or something. Absolutely. Same way with, uh, same way with this war club. This is what we actually call a war club. I mean, big gnarly weapon. You know, I can see an orc toting around. Well, that's pretty awesome. Now, Al, we've been kind of asking a lot of people uh, recently. We usually focus on the who, what, and where of the industry. Right. Um, but uh, today we're kind of focusing a little bit more on the why. You know, why is it you do what you do? What's driving your passion to, to um, make things? I'm kind of a unique case. I, I love, you know, I love creating and love the artistic side of things. But as far as back to the haunt side of things, um, my, my dad, uh, my dad uh, started a haunt in 1981, so it's okay. been like 35 years yeah. of me in this industry, you know, and yeah. uh, so, I mean, I was kind of brought up in it, you right. know what it's I mean, your, and, your and I love blood. it, I love really? it as much now as I did then. Wow, that's that's, that's intense, yeah. and I mean, your, your passion clearly shows, too, yeah. and I think sometimes we forget to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, you know? I mean, it's easy to get wrapped up in, in the business side of things, yeah. but at the end of the day, that's why I do it. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks, Al, so much for sharing that with yeah, us, uh, for talking a little bit about the, the cos, cosplay right. industry and the haunt industry and, and how we can bridge that gap together. We really right, appreciate right. it. Right, right. Thanks. And I'm going to go grab a club. Like, yeah. Are you feeling all right?